John Fia. I'm chair of the history department at Messiah College and associate professor of American history. Most of the present day conversation about whether America was founded as a Christian nation has taken place in political circles. What do historians bring to this conversation and why is their viewpoint so important? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, much of, like you said, much of this debate was America founded as a Christian nation, I think has been overly politicized. Um, I think historians bring a unique perspective to, to the question, much like I think historians bring a unique perspective to, a, to much of life in general. Uh, you know, as historians, we try to think historically, and that's a sort of very different way of kind of uh, analyzing a particular topic. It's a different way of, of sort of thinking than other disciplines or other sort of fields would think. So, um, you know, much of the question of was America founded as a Christian nation, I think, is driven by, uh, you know, people who are looking for what we might call usable past. You know, something from the past that they could take and use to promote their own particular agendas in the present. So, uh, you know, if you believe that America was not founded as a Christian nation, uh, you will tend to gravitate towards, uh, you know, those founders or so forth who are skeptical or, you know, the fact that maybe God is not mentioned in the United States Constitution. Of course, if you take the opposite position, you gravitate towards those parts of the past that are... Uh, that are you know, suitable to your position. Well, that's not how historians think. I mean, we, are, we think much more uh, about the fullness of the past, all that is, you know, all that is there, you know, apart from how they necessarily, those ideas or facts necessarily serve the present and our own agendas. So what I try to do in this book is I try to approach the question, was America founded as a Christian nation, as a historian, which means, you know, I, I don't have an agenda, um, other than the fact that I want to treat the past with a certain level of integrity. Um, you know, to, to, to sort of cherry pick, as I say in the book from the past, to, to pick the things out that help us to serve our present needs uh, is, is somewhat, I think I call it a little bit narcissistic. Um, it, it makes us sort of consumers of the past rather than people who sort of engage the past in all its fullness to try to find out what it could teach us for today. Now again, that doesn't mean that the past doesn't serve the present in some ways, but by going into the past and, and exploring it in all its fullness without present-minded agendas, uh, the way in which then we apply the past to certain situations today, like public policy questions and so forth, will be, I think, that much richer and deeper and, and, and more complex. So, so I think, you know, again, much of the stuff written on Christian America is heavily political, and, and I'm taking a sort of different kind of disciplinary approach. Well, the book, which is titled, Was America Founded as a Christian Nation, actually um, takes point in the introduction to say that that might not even be the right question to be asking. Yeah. Correct? That that's a bad question. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things where, you know, you, you title a book something, and then you say in the book that it's a bad question. The title of your book is not a, is not a good question. Uh, again, I think it's a bad question because it's it's a it's not a historical question. Uh, it assumes that these ideas in that in that phrase, you know, was America founded as a Christian nation? I mean, Christian founded nation. Uh, it assumes that these are sort of ideas that are sort of floating around out there, and they're always are defined the same way, depending on you know they're always defined the same way in the same time period, and they're not sort of grounded in particular moments. So of the past, so. For example, um, you know, let's take the term Christian, for example. I mean, how are we defining that when we use those terms, when we use that term? Do we mean um, a Christian nation is a nation that its laws are rooted in some kind of the Bible or Christian tradition or something like that? Do we mean a Christian nation is a nation in which um, the people of the nation are Christian? You know, they attend church, they are church members. Uh, they take communion. You know, these are all issues that I engage in, in, in the book. Uh, what do we mean by nation? When was the United States founded? Was it in 1620 when the pilgrims came over? Was it in 1776, the Declaration of Independence in July 4? Was it 1789 when the Constitution was ratified? Or maybe even sometime later, depending on how you define that term nation. And again, how you define that term and when you situate that idea of nation in a particular historical moment your definition then of whether or not the United States was Christian at that time, if, a, if there even was a nation at that time, will change. Uh, so, um, 
you know, the pilgrims, when they come over in 1620, certainly want to establish a Christian society. Uh, they're not the only colonists coming over, though. There are people in Jamestown who that's not a priority. Uh, you know, um, if we were to look at, say, the period between 1780 and 1790, when we don't have a nation per se, we're under this strange form of government known as the Articles of Confederation, each individual state sort of has their own sort of views on religion and who can participate in government, and there they look very Christian. Then you get to the Constitution, there's nothing about God in it at all, you know, there's sort of a, an argument for, um, you know, the fact that uh, religion will be something that will be handled by the individual states rather than the nation. Um, so, so again, this is what the historian does, sort of, you know, thinking um, in a much more complex manner, you know, what do we mean by these terms? Uh, so often we answer this question in public debate, you know, was America founded as a Christian nation uh, in, in sort of sound bites? You know, you're, you're on Fox News or CNN or MSNBC and you have sort of two talking heads who are, are you have two minutes to sort of defend their position. There's not a whole lot of sort of listening to one another. There's not a whole lot of time to sort of develop the whole complexity of the question. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, I got to get my point across, and again, very political, usually very politically charged. So, given the complexity of the question and your background as a mm -hmm. historian, who do you hope reads the book, and what, yeah. what do you hope their response will be? Yeah, I wrote the book. Or I got the idea for writing the book. Um, just being a Christian myself, being a churchgoer, uh, being someone as a as a chair of a history department at a Christian college, I interact with students, their parents. Uh, you know, as a churchgoer, people in the pews and so forth, who constantly ask me this question. Uh, there's a lot of authors out there who, again, defend the position one way or another, or, or answer the question one way or another. You know, well, what do you think? You're a Christian, you're an American historian. So I thought there, as I, as I listened to the way people thought about this question, I realized, one, there was a lot of sort of misinformation out there that people had. Uh, and then number two, um, it struck me that... Uh, there were a lot of voices, you know, uh, out there sort of that were sort of messing things up. You know, they were they were sort of talking in these very political terms about, well, you know, almost all the signers of the Declaration of Independence were ordained clergymen, you know, which is just as for the, you know, the historical record just concludes that that's not the case. Um, you know, so so there just seemed to be um, an interest in the topic, a lot of misinformation. Uh, and frankly, I just sort of got tired of, uh, of kind of giving the same spiel over and over again. So let me write this down and, and, and put this in a book. So the people who I want to read it, I think, are, 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 you know, first of all, Americans who are very interested in the way in which the founding informs the present or what we should make of the founding, if anything, and how that might relate to who we are today. But for Christians as well, uh, how to think about the relationship between uh, nationhood or the founding of our nation uh, and our faith. Uh, you know, does it matter if America was founded as a Christian nation or not uh, as to how we live our lives as, as believers in the world? Um, you know, what, and if it does, what role, uh, you know, what role should we play in sort of thinking historically about all of this? So, so I hope the sort of educated reader, someone who's interested in sort of a history buff, you know, who, who likes this kind of thing uh, might, might find the book uh, informative and helpful in trying to sort this all out.